Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. Currently, the sun's out, but I don't know how long that's going to be. Now, I've got to. Well, I don't have to do, but I will do. A quick video from Surf and Waves who asked me a question on the mounting of the ostrich wing awning. All right, now this ostrich wing awning has done a lot of kilometers in the dirt and the bush, and uh. I mean, we did have to waterproof it in a couple of spots, um, but besides that, oh, it's great. Let me tell you, it's the best investment I think we've ever made. Now, bearing in mind, we did have to change the bottom of the uh, of the um, walls, but that's in other videos. Okay, first of all, now. You'll see as it sits there. Now this is a very heavy, solid steel lid. And the struts, we can't read these ones. Hang on. See if I can read them on this side. Uh, let me get under here. That's the struts. I can't even see if that's in focus. I hate it. hope it is. We'll have another look at the others. Hang on. Let me uh, get this lifted up out of the way in a, in a minute. All right, now you can see how that's mounted. It's mounted at an angle. See the mounting brackets? Uh, a, a good friend of mine made them for me. They're out of heavy steel. And it's mounted to a big aluminium plate. Uh, we use light steel angle at the top up here and at the bottom this sort and then I put a nice solid piece of steel angle across the top all the way across the top okay uh, and that's to take the movement I mean it still moves but it, it's it's very flexible that's me giving it a bloody good shake um, and that's what it gets on rough off-roading now, it's packed in there and it's at an angle, all right? But when it's lifted, and once it starts to go up, it goes up. Just to excuse the uh, mess inside, like I said, I'm doing electrical on uh, the part I had on orders here. And this is the uh, smart channel I've been waiting on. That uh, goes down and replaces that shunt over there. And of course I'm adding a, a fuse block. Um, and then I'll put it all back together again. And uh, yeah, just improvements. You know, every time you take it out, you get an improvement. All right, now we can see this strut properly. Okay, there you go, that's the struts I got on, I think they're 70 Newton struts, oh 700, see 700, there, 700 Newtons, but that's a lot of weight, this is a solid steel construction, um, it's got a Huge solar panel on top. Uh, all of our poles and that go in here. And it's got three massive. There's one, two, three hinges. Okay. Yeah, that's the same strut. Now they're not the original struts that were on the. Uh, 
trailer, it only had 500s on the trailer. And 500 newtons was enough before I added this huge solar panel which we have to replace because I broke it last trip. Still puts out over 300 watts this solar panel, um, but it is broken. And I do have another one down the shed. So, now, but the important thing is, now that you can see the clamshells open, you can see how the clamshells open, you can now see the wing awning is straight. So, it looks a bit crooked mounted when it's all shut, but when it's all open, it's all straight. And a lot of thought went into that mounting with uh, supports um, and flexibility because uh, you've got to allow it to flex without cracking. Uh, and it does flex. You can see a flex stress mark and a crack there. Alright, that's nothing. I'm not worried about that. But uh, that's what the piece of steel across the top's for. I could put another piece of steel at the bottom, um, but it doesn't really require that, to be honest. Okay, um, it's cracked where it flexed and flexed, and that's it. It's not going to crack anymore. There, eh? that's it. That's it's done. It's finished. Um, am I an engineer? No, I'm not. Would I pretend to be an engineer? No, I wouldn't. I've just built a lot of shit over the time. A lot of farm and machinery. And uh, I'm pretty good with the stresses applied to metals. I have with massive tons of load. But anyway. So, uh, surf and waves. You didn't leave your proper name, but I'll just call you Surf and Waves. Um, that's it. I hope that shows exactly how it's all mounted. Let me put the camera down for a second and pull this down. It does take a couple of arms to pull it down. It is these gas struts when they go up, go up quite strong, but when they're on the way down, see, they don't slam down or anything until I give them that final tug. So let's have a closer look at this mounting bracket. Now it's bolted onto the top steel bracket. It travels all the way along under this solar panel and there's a stainless steel bolt there, stainless steel bolt there, stainless steel bolt there. Now here, the wing awning is bolted using massive uh, washers to spread the load to the aluminium, the thick aluminium plate I've got all the way. And then I've got two bolts Another two bolts with another even huge washer. You can see the washer there. It's absolutely monstrous. Okay. Um, bounding the bolting uh, the aluminium plate or this onto these two steel angles. So a steel angle here and another one down there. So the wing awning is bound, mounted directly onto the aluminium plate. Uh, but the aluminium plate is what's mounted onto the steel. Okay. And at the other end, it's the same. I just... <coughs> sorry. Just can't really get in to show you. It's the same. Now my friend Steve made me these angles, these solid steel angles, 
you see they've got a structural brace there and I mean they're just awesome Steve did a marvellous job knocking them up for me alright so surf and wave I hope that's what you needed so like that hold the camera straight Chris there we go uh, you can see and you're going to have to work these angles out for yourself or show whoever's doing it this video it's not friggin hard it's not rocket science let me put this down for a second oh. stay there sorry about the view now once you I had to use two hands to start to lift it but once I start to lift it and the struts help I can quite easily do it with one hand and indeed it goes up the last bit by itself okay now when you set the wing awning out and pull it around because you've got a pole the wing awning goes all the way around past the kitchen because you've got a pole over there all right it tends to want to keep this open um with the pole and the rope all right and have a look what i did with the bottom of the poles and the ropes and the, and the pegs i use okay so right now we're putting a fuse box in there i've got some new leads for the uh two angle fridges that go in here um, with Anderson, so they plug in the Anderson 50 amp Anderson plugs instead of the original Ingle plugs because we had trouble with those rattling loose in the last trip. So we've sorted that this trip. Um, I just haven't put them in yet. All right, and we're putting this shunt in. Okay, that's it, people. That was a nice video, stretched out a bit, but. You know me, once I get talking on a subject, I do like to talk. Alright, keep safe everybody. Bye for now.